Bear was a good dog, but I had to give him up today. Oh, it tore me apart inside to do it, and I nearly broke down when the woman at the SPCA asked me why I was turning him in, but I just couldn't have him around anymore. Not after. You see, Beth was the love of my life. We met when we were teenagers, dated all throughout high school and college, then got married after we graduated. We got Bear, a yellow Labrador, when we moved into our first place together. He was a puppy then. He still acts like a puppy now, even though he's six years old. He's great with kids. I'm sure he'll find a good home. Six months ago, Beth found out she was pregnant. Naturally, we were ecstatic, but we soon realized that we needed to get out of our one-bedroom apartment and into a house, or at least a larger apartment. We began our house hunt, and after going to only three open houses, we found it. She fell in love with the place before we even set foot in it, and was convinced that it was the one before she even made it past the living room. The next day, we made an offer, and a couple months later, we closed. Last week, we moved in. Our friends helped us move, and they were rewarded with a case of beer. We expected a few scratches in the furniture and a few broken items that came with any move. But as we were moving furniture into the living room, I accidentally pushed an end table into our sliding glass door, forming a spider web of cracks from where the corner of the table connected with the glass. Andrew, one of Beth's friends who was there helping us, said that his father was a glazier and could fix the window at cost. He made a call and in an hour, Andrew's father showed up in his glass truck with a fresh paint to replace the broken one. As he was preparing to install it, he got a call from his shop about an emergency replacement that was needed at a local storefront. He agreed to come back the following day and finish the repair, and left the plate of replacement glass leaning up against the wall its bottom resting on a folded moving blanket to keep it from scratching the hardwoods. While we were moving things in the house, we kept Bear in the basement. After everyone had left, I took Bear for a walk so he could get some fresh air and mark his new territory. When we got home, he was feeling playful and kept bringing me toys so I would play with him. I would throw them across the room for him to fetch a few times, then he would get bored with whatever toy we were playing with and go find another bring it to me and I'd throw that one for a while. Sometimes he just liked to play tug of war with it and growl while we each pulled at the toy. Furniture in the house was haphazardly placed and many of the rooms became temporary mazes of boxes and furniture. The living room was no exception. The couch was currently in the middle of the room, its back facing the kitchen, its front facing the picturesque bay window that overlooked the front yard and tree-lined driveway. I asked Beth what she wanted for dinner, and mentioned we could either order pizza or make some sandwiches. In the background I could hear Bear playing with something and grunting softly. I could go for anything really, but maybe we should order a pizza since we don't have any dishes unpacked yet. I agreed and used my smartphone to find a local pizza delivery place. Beth sat on the couch, looking out at the view. The sun was setting, and the day's last rays of sunshine were slowly fading. Bear continued to play and make the same soft grunting sounds. I found a place that delivered and had good reviews on Yelp. As I prepared to call, I asked Beth if she wanted to get extra cheese. She leaned back against the couch, so her head hung off the back, and looked at me upside down. She smiled and said to get extra cheese and pepperoni. Bear grunted loudly, and I heard a scraping sound. Beth was still looking at me, smiling when the plate of replacement glass came crashing down and neatly sliced off her head. The pane shattered on the floor, sending shards of broken glass skittering across the kitchen tile. Beth's head rolled and lay still on the side of her face. Her eyes registered brief confusion before fading into a glassy stare. Bear, ever playful, came up to me proudly, holding the moving blanket. The glass had been resting on in his mouth. His tail was wagging, happy that he found a new toy to play with.